It is my honor that I get to share the story today of Dennis Nichols. Dennis Nichols was divorced from his first wife in 1970 when their son Mark was three and a half years old. And in the divorce, he received weekend visitation with Mark. Being away from his son during the week and seeing him only on weekend was a difficult arrangement. He pros the time they had together. Dennis started to go to different churches every Sunday with Mark. They went to Lutheran and Methodist churches, searching for God to provide some answer in this difficult time. Dennis realized he was very lonely, and he prayed to God to bring him a wife who would be true to him and be supportive of his son, Mark. For financial reasons, Dennis moved to a one-room apartment in Bensonville in 1972. The landlords of that apartment complex were Jean and Jeannie Crema. In time, they had come to know Dennis and Mark. They were good, caring, Christian people. Dennis was not aware of their matchmaking expertise, however. <laughs> Two years later, a single young woman moved in his building. Jean told Dennis that a nice single woman from Pakistan had moved into the building and he should befriend her. Little did he know that his wife Jeannie had told Rose the same thing about Dennis. <laughs> When Dennis met Rose, he felt that God had answered his prayer and that Jean and Jeannie were messengers of God. One day, Dennis and Rose talked to each other and felt a mutual admiration for each other. Dennis admitted that he admired Rose for the courage to come to America from a faraway country, and Rose told Dennis that she admired his devotion to his son. One weekend, Rose made Pakistani rice pudding, which was delicious. She brought some over for Mark and Dennis. Mark was immediately taken by her tasty pudding, and Dennis sensed at that moment that she was sent to him by God. <coughs> Their relationship progressed. Rose and Dennis were married at her sister's house by a justice of the peace. Their families were present for that celebration, and Mark was nine years old at the time. It was a mixed marriage in many ways, especially in that Dennis was Christian and Rose was Muslim. After a year, they moved to a two-bedroom apartment in Elmhurst, and there they met a wonderful lady named Evelyn, who lived next door to them. Evelyn was a devout Christian who attended Epiphany Lutheran Church. She extended an invite to Dennis, and he started to go to church with her. Every Sunday, he would ask Rose if she would like to join them at church, and she would politely say no. In one of their conversations about church, Rose asked Dennis if it would make him happy if she would go with him. He was ecstatic. And explained, yes, very happy. Rose started to go to church with him, but did not show any desire to be a Christian. Dennis did not know how much Christ was in motion through him in those years as they attended worship together. In 1979, they moved to Bolingbroke and started attending a place called New Life Lutheran Church. Every step of the way, Christ was moving through their lives as he brought Rose to worship with him each week. The Spirit of the Lord was moving, and on April 17, 1982, Dennis' wife, Rose, was baptized into the Christian faith at New Life Church. Christ was in motion through landlord, neighbor, and husband, and continues to be in motion as Dennis and Rose share their faith and worship and witness to the law of Christ. 